Hi, my name is Joel Harden. I'm the candidate for the Ontario NDP in the riding of Auto Centre. One of the things that troubles me the most today, as I think about what governments need to do to be better, given the pandemic, is what's happened in our home care and long-term care systems. They were the weak link. When the pandemic hit, it was seniors, it was care workers in home care and long-term care that paid the highest price. 4,400 seniors and persons with disabilities lost their lives in the pandemic, and not necessarily to COVID-19. As the military report showed us, they lost their lives to dehydration and neglect. They were warehoused three or four to a room in for-profit homes in many cases, where dividends went out to shareholders and not care to the residents. We are going to change that. We are gonna make sure you can stay in your home for as long as you want with adequate home care. Our model is the country of Denmark that works directly with residents so they can age safely in place, that makes sure that those care workers that visit you in your home have pensions, have benefits, have sick pay, have the ability to help you stay safe. There is a $3.2 billion infrastructure deficit in our hospital system alone. What that's meant in Ottawa is that the Civic Hospital was once an institution with a thousand beds. Today, it has less than 500. An NDP government is going to stop the cuts to our hospitals, stop the cuts to our community health services, stop thwarting physicians and health teams that want to set up family health organizations to get people a family physician or a local health team. We are going to lift the cap on healthcare workers' wages with Bill 124. It is gone on the first day of an NDP government. We're going to make sure, in order to staff up our health professionals, we recognize the international credentials of thousands of healthcare professionals right here in Ontario who are blocked from helping you and helping us because of obstacles that make no sense. We need them on the job right now. And above all, we need to make sure that everyone has the medications they need to be safe. The Ontario Drug Plan that serves seniors in this province is going to be properly funded, properly resourced, and you are going to be able to get the medication you need to stay healthy and safe under an NDP government. How do we make life more affordable for seniors? This is a question that focuses the mind for the Ontario NDP. And we know one of the biggest things we have to spend our monthly budget on is housing. So the Ontario NDP is committed to create 250,000 non-market homes in the next eight years. That is what we will do. And that's what a previous NDP government did in the early 1990s. We also want to make other key things more affordable for seniors, like dental care. I've talked to so many seniors who live in dental pain, who do not have dental coverage. If you make less than $200,000 a year, your dental care is covered under an NDP government. Last but not least, for those of us who want to be aging safely in place as seniors, we want to make sure that you can defer the property taxes that you're paying on your home until the moment when you sell that home. So that's more money in your pocket. And in the long-term care sector in nursing homes, profit is getting out of these institutions. We will not be warehousing seniors any longer. We are going to make sure homes are more comfortable. We're going to make sure that every single senior and person with disability gets four hours of hands-on care. We're going to mandate minimum wage standards. We're going to mandate the fact that those staff that work in those homes deserve to have full-time jobs with decent hours and benefits. That's what an NDP government will do. We will make sure you can stay safe in your own home, in your own bed, in your own community, so you can feel like you have not been abandoned by the province you built. We are going to make sure that when you do need long-term care or home care, that it is culturally appropriate for you. We're going to have a seniors advocate in the province of Ontario that is going to be a watchdog on all the actors in the system. There's a community outside your home. You have a right to be active in that community. All the great community organizations that make life fun that make life more possible to be joyful, like the Good Companions Centre here in Ottawa, uh, like the Ottawa South Senior Services, we are gonna fund these organizations. They're gonna have stable and secure funding. The way to deal with social isolation is to build community. And the way you build community is through intentional community organizations devoted to that task. All those organizations will have a friend in an NDP government.